It was supposed to be a festive season, a time of joy and celebration. But for one couple in Mutare, it turned into a nightmare of horror and violence. Anesuma Fokosho, a 24-year-old woman, brutally axed her husband Vitalis Modomo to death on Christmas Eve in 2018. But what drove her to commit such a heinous act? And what was her state of mind? Anesu and Vitalis had been married for four years and had a three-year-old daughter. Their relationship was rocky and marred by frequent quarrels and accusations of infidelity. Vitalis was in an alleged relationship with 28-year-old Edith Marimbo, and this broke Anesu's heart. He would brag to her how better she was in bed. On the day of the incident, they met at the stop sign in Chikanga 2. The two drove to Edgar's Mutare, where they bought their three-year-old daughter Christmas clothes, but an altercation ensued during the trip. On arrival at home, the husband's sister, who was in the dining room, heard the couple arguing outside the yard for about 45 minutes. Moments later, they got into the house and entered into their bedroom. All the hell broke loose in the bedroom after Vitalis started packing his clothes, saying that he was moving out. His wife begged him to change his mind, but he did not listen. She then snapped and grabbed an ex from the kitchen and stuck him three times on his neck. She severed his jugular vein and spinal cord and fled from the scene leaving behind a pool of blood and a lifeless body. She then texted her younger sister and confessed to the murder. She also called her mother and told her what she had done. She then went into hiding in Sakova Mountain for five days while the police were searching for her. She even attempted suicide but failed to master the courage to end her own life. She later resolved to go to her mother's village in Chikodora where the police located her after 11 days on the 4th of January 2019. She was charged with murder and remanded in custody. Her trial at the High Court was delayed after her lawyer requested that she be assessed by a psychiatrist to determine if she was sane enough at the time of the crime. She indicated that she intended to plead temporary insanity, claiming that she was overcome by anger and fear when her husband threatened to leave her. She also said that she loved him and regretted killing him. The prosecutor, however, argued that she acted with malice, aforethought, and premeditation. They also said that she had a history of violence and had once stabbed her husband with a knife. They presented evidence from witnesses, forensic experts, and the postmortem report to prove their case. The judge, after hearing both sides, found her guilty of murder and sentenced her to 18 years imprisonment. He said that she had committed a barbaric and senseless act that deprived her husband of his life and her daughter of her father. He said that she had shown no respect for human life and did not deserve leniency. Anesuma Fukusho's crime shocked and saddened the residents of Mutari. It raised questions about the state of marriages, the role of culture, and the impact of domestic violence. It also highlighted the need for mental health awareness and support for victims and perpetrators of abuse. It was a tragedy that could have been prevented if only there was more love communication and understanding between the couple. May his soul continue to rest in peace.